everybody for coming out this afternoon on such short notice. But I believe that excessive use of force is an important issue in Tulsa, and I believe that it's an important issue nationally. As the recent videos in South Carolina uh, have shown, uh, being uh, forthcoming and uh, as the Sheriff's Department has described in the last week, being completely transparent is absolutely critical uh, in looking at excessive force and exposing excessive force. And the family of Eric Harris has asked me to try to put together a group of people with the media because they have questions that they feel like need to be answered uh, for the Sheriff's Department here in Tulsa to completely fulfill their promise of what they've described as complete transparency. Um, there's a lot that we know about what happened to Eric Harris, but there's a lot that we don't know. What we know is that Eric Harris was gunned down in a street in North Tulsa. Um, we know that Eric Harris has a 16-year-old son, and we know that Eric Harris has a brother who loved him very much. And his family deserves to know what happened to him. And there's people out there that know what happened to him. And they asked me to put this together because they've got some questions that they would like answered with respect to <coughs> complete transparency. This is Mr. Harris' son, it's Aiden. He's got some questions that he'd like answered so for the people that know what happened to my father, um, I want to know the truth on what happened. Um, and all the videos that they say they have, how come they haven't been released? And when will they be released? And why was a 73-year-old man at the case of the shooting being 73 years old? Um, and all the records of Bob Bates, where are they at? Where are all the records that he has of training? Uh, my questions are, um, did Bob Bates ever have a taser on him at the time of the shooting? Um, and what kind of gun did Bob Bates use? That's my question. Uh, was he trained in how to use this weapon? Did Eric have a weapon on him at the time that he was killed? What is the value of the vehicles and the equipment that Bob Bates has donated to the TCSO? These are some of the questions I have. And one question here that I want to ask is, where is the evidence that my brother was on PCP at the time of the shooting? Those are the questions I have for you today. And, and I think that those are questions that direct, relate directly to this idea of complete transparency. <clears throat> those are statements that have been made, uh, and those are statements that have been made uh, with respect to the PCP, with respect to uh, what Mr. Harris was and who he was, that have prevented this family, who, who know a much different person, from being able to grieve. And uh, I would ask that the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office, regardless of what they are legally required to do or not do, that they come forward and they answer these questions like they do in every other shooting where there are not concerns. And that's all we have. Questions? I asked, I asked the sheriff's office about the nominee team, though they say they have no video, and they're saying that it is a criminal investigation and it's part of the evidence, and if they were to release that, that it could impact, um, if this man is charged for the third deputy, it could impact his trial. I would say that under the Freedom of Information Act, that if Mr. Harris was already arrested, as they've said that he was, that they have a legal responsibility to produce those records once a FOIA request has been submitted, and that if Mr. Bates is charged, his trial won't be for a long, long time, and that in 20 or 30 days, they're going to have to produce the videos anyways under FOIA. Why not produce the videos now? and let the family know what happened 
to the to their loved one. And you say video, so I was, I was being told by the sheriff's office that there's one video. Are you guys aware of other videos that I may not be aware of? We are uh, believe that there are at least two videos um, that uh, exist. Do you know what kind of video? Is that video from the uh, store? Is that video from one of the undercover office uh, deputies? I know that there's video from the store, um, which is fuzzy and hard to see. But I believe that there's multiple Google Glasses that it were being worn during this takedown, and that those show in high definition what happened, and that there's also audio uh, with those. Family is great. They're obviously very, very sad about what happened to their brother, but the family uh, is a very special family. And I think that uh, they are going to use this <coughs> incident and whatever comes out and what the truth is. Um, I believe they're going to use this incident to shed light on a situation that's very, very problematic in America and has always been very problematic. I think you mentioned something about um, in other shootings that don't involve officers, some of the information might already be disclosed. Is that what you were meaning? Oh, how many times has the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office given us a videotape of an incident, whether it be dash cam or arrest videos, where there's a pending investigation, and they like how that video sheds light on the Sheriff's Office? Why in those scenarios do they are they forthcoming with the video and they're not in this situation? That's all. I'm just asking for consistency. If you're not going to produce your videotapes as a matter of you have a right to dispute it under FOIA for a period of time, that's fine. Be consistent with it. But if you've got video that favors you and you disclose it immediately, um, disclose all the video that you have when you have it. If they don't release the video, okay, that they have, what, what do you plan on doing? Well, assuming the videos exist, and I believe that they do, still, they will ultimately have to produce this material. And we'll get the videos. And we'll get the videos in, in, in a timely fashion for, for our purposes. But what I'm asking and what the family's asking is if you're going to go on the news and you're going to say, we are approaching this, as, as Major Clark has said numerous times, from complete transparency. Show the videotapes. That's all. Just show the videotapes and play the audio. You mentioned that the possible use of PCE is out of character for him. Talk about this character and how you guys do that. Uh, he was a fun loving person, you know, got along with everybody. Um, got along with everybody in the community. You can ask people in the neighborhood, um, how, how was he, you know? Um, I've actually seen somebody a couple of days ago said he gave her five dollars to go down and get some milk for a child. You know, this was, was the guy I knew, you know. Um, me and my brother was real close. We were 13 months apart, you know, and so um, we were always together. And um, just an awesome guy, you know. Give you a hug when he see you, you know, kind of like me, you know, and um, that's just how we was brought up, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, we have some uh, some things in our past that we might not be so crazy about, but don't we all, you know? Um, and, and he paid the price for that, for all that, you know what I mean? And, and for something like this to happen, um, we just think that, you know, they need to come forth and just be transparent. You know, and if something was done wrong in this case, then let the video prove it. And that's all we're asking for, just, you know, let the evidence come forth and then uh, let the public be the judge. Aiden, how old were you again? 16. 16. Um, I think, I guess we all understand that we say we're sorry for your loss, but what I want to know is, what was the last thing you told your father? Do you remember? That I loved him. That I'll talk to him again the next day. Amen. But then when I didn't get to talk to him, I knew something was happening. We have been talking for every day since then. Give me three words that describe your father. 
sweet, nice, forgiving, thoughtful. He would he would do anything for anybody. Would give his last if it made him do it. Yes, I, I have one older brother, but we have the same mom with different dads. Okay. Yes. Yes. And this is his only brother, and uh, Eric's parents are deceased. Any other questions? That's why we're asking the questions that we're asking. That's usually what happens. I mean, usually they are forthcoming. And usually when they get on camera and describe situations as Mr. Clark has, you would think that they would back that up. If the videos depict what Mr. Clark has said to the press, why not show them? That's all. I would um, I would like to um, also add again the question that I asked: Did Eric have a weapon when he was killed? Um, that definitely has to be answered, definitely. You know, um, because I would you know that could explain some things. You know what I mean? So uh, that's and did, just. Whatever, and again, did, did Mr. Bates even have a taser? Mm -hmm. That's all. Thank you. I'm I'm Andre Harris. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. I've been, I, I came with this other preacher and we were praying against the system. 